And this is the Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game show on a night where fits of frustration were tangled up in blue. The blue shirts ultimately found a way by finding a way to the net. They beat the Arizona Coyotes 4-1 on Garden Ice inside our Delta MSG studios. Hi, everyone. Alongside Steve Valiquette, I'm John Giannone. Four shots on goal in the first period. Rangers take the lead in the second. Maybe this is one of those examples, Steve, where it's not how you start, it's when you finish. Right. It's a slow start because, look, don't forget, it's the fourth game of the week. It's your third game in four nights with travel. Uh, the players have a dreadful feeling just starting the game, and, and it takes a while to get your legs. And it might have been the best case scenario for Igor Shosturkin to have 17 shots in the first period to play a significant role to light him up. And, and that really helps him go into the second period. He's in the game, and the players know that, they've got the wall back behind them. So now they can breathe easy and play their game. I think it, it really helps, too, to get one on the power play after last night going 0 for 5. You don't deviate from your game plan, which is why Zabanajad looks for Kreider on that look, which we've seen this year work. And that's why when friends and family are calling you, fans hmm. are upset with you, you're reading headlines, it's not, it doesn't feel great to lose. It's miserable. But you don't deviate from what you know is going to work for you, John. And, and that's... The players know you can't fool the players here. They know they're getting their looks. They know they're going to score. There's too much talent in that room for them to fail. And that goes for five on five, too. The depth scoring's coming. Look, you, you look at the week sometimes as this. I know it's a, a game in last night where you, you don't score, you score once, but you still had 15 goals during the week. Right. You know, so like, it's take a step back sometimes and, and be excited about what comes next without pushing the panic button too soon. Well, it certainly took long enough for the Rangers. They were able to score four in the second half of the game. They win it 4-1. The Rangers behind 31 saves from Igor Shesterkin get the win and maybe no more valuable than in that first period where he stopped 17 out of 17 and was able to uh, minimize the tilt in the ice. Well, I think he was able to accomplish what he needed to, not just for him, but for the group, John. And the, the two things that were really highlighted, I think, in this game was that he was able to lock down the game when it was in their favor but he was able to first find his timing and, and this is the most important aspect of the game for the goaltender you can't go to the ice early now you have to understand that every goalie during every save during an NHL season will end up on the ice at some point during their save just look at this run of saves whether it's a rebound or a tight net play or an east-west or a shot from the slot like this one but it's a matter of being able to be on your skates long enough to bring the puck in and a lot of support too we should note from the players anytime he was touched there was a lot of protection around the crease and these two he had two big glove saves in the second period john off the rush where and this is the other one right here where you see how he held his skates just a split second longer and he was able to get his glove up there uh, that's a big difference than what we saw in previous weeks where he was down early and trying to go hands up that to me is timing the morning after the games are played, I oftentimes look at the puck coming off the stick, hitting the pause button, and seeing if the puck is halfway between Shesterkin and the shooter's stick. That's timing. The save is made, then his knees hit the ice. That's what I saw out there tonight. Shesterkin now 8-2-2 two two on the season. He has all eight Ranger wins so far. Rangers 8-6-3 overall.